Hey everyone, happy Friday to you. I hope that you've had a good week. I have had a crazy busy week, but it's been fun. And I'm gonna show you just a bunch of new stuff today. So, first of all, I'll get this right out of the way. I got my keratin treatment got my hair colored last night in the yesterday. morning. And so she did that, and then she um, clarified it and got it ready for the other girl that does my hair to put the keratin treatment on. She put it on me and then she did Brooke's hair and did us at the same time. So, but this is something I just couldn't wait to tell you guys. It's not like it's something good or anything. But if you'll remember, I did the Bumble and Bumble Concentrate and I told you how bad it damaged my hair. I want you to see all of that. I don't know if you can see that. All of the new growth that is coming up from that treatment where it broke it off, it's like coming all over my head. And we could really see it yesterday. And at first I panicked because I thought, you know, what is breaking off my hair? And she says, well, it's not, it's new growth because it was all the same all the way around. And I remembered when that happened, for those of you that have had babies and you know, after you have the baby, you have all that hair fall out and then it grows back and you can almost feel it stubbly in your head when it's growing out. That's how I felt, I could tell that you know I had a lot of breakage and that it was growing back so I don't know you know maybe that concentrate works good for some people but if you have processed hair I would be very very careful the keratin is different because it's putting the keratin back in your hair it's going to make it stronger smoother and healthier so it is the keratin is in my hair right now I cannot wash it until Sunday night and then when I do I am supposed to Oh, I've already got, she gave me a keratin mask to use for a conditioner. And then, of course, I had to buy some new products to use with the keratin. Um, also, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I did go a little bit um, darker with the glaze on my hair. And um, next time, we're debating, next time I might put some low lights or something. I'm just going to transition a little bit. And so we went a little bit darker with the glaze, and this is also something that will help keep the color in. And it is the um, Bumble and Bumble Color Minded Sulfate Free Shampoo, which is the key for the keratin treatment. You have to use something that is sulfate free. And this is supposed to be really good. They've gotten really good feedback from their clients, and they know um, that I like my hair real soft. I don't like, I mean, I don't care what the shampoo does. If it doesn't make my hair soft, I don't like it. So she said this makes it real soft. So I got the shampoo, um, the conditioner, and then she really likes this. It's the UV Protective Styling Balm. Keeps all tones true. And they really, really like this. So I will let you know how it goes. So far, my favorite shampoo and conditioner has been the Shu Yumira Silk Bloom. But it has sulfates, I believe and it has the sodium sulfate, that's what I meant to say. And um, so I'm gonna switch to this and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, another thing that I got, and I'm wearing it right now, I got this yesterday, is the Jane Iredell Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain. And I have it on and it's called Forever Pink. And Alicia, the girl that owns the salon and does my hair, had it on. And um, so I got it and I really like it, it's a real, just like I like a um, balmy, moisturizing pink. It's a little, it's very similar to the Dior Lip Addict Balm, but maybe not quite as bright on me. That one just turns so bright pink on me that I don't use it as much, but um, I really like this. So that's what I got. And oh, I was gonna show you, Brooke has a, a real edgy haircut. She gets so many compliments on it, but it's, um, I'm trying to think of how I can describe it. It's kind of like a shag or a modern day Pat Benatar or something. It's very, very shaggy and then she, it's kind of swings over, but it's still really long. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but they um, suggested this for her, the BB Texture Undressing Cream. It gives, it gives the hair that elusive, undone yet done quality with a hint of grit, extra lift and tussled shine free finish. So she got that and then they suggested this shampoo and conditioner for her and I bought the small ones and I told Brooke to just use this no other shampoos and let's see how she likes this before I bought the, the larger ones because she's like me she has a habit of wanting to switch around and I want her to use this and see how she really likes it so I can kind of report back on that too I was just thinking too I got a 
I was going to say right much, but I know y'all pick on me when I say that. I got a lot cut off of my hair too. I'm trying to let it grow. I just want a simple haircut for a change that I don't really have to fix. And so that's what I'm doing is I'm letting my layers grow out. They had to trim them just a little bit. And then I got, I think, about two inches cut off of the ends. And um, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, the Dior counter. Um, I was in Dillard's this week several times getting the Sophie B bralettes and when I walked by the Dior counter they had the new collection out and the lip glosses and lipsticks looked you know basically like some stuff I already have and um, Kat the girl that works at the counter was telling me how nice the bronzers were and one of you had sent me a message that you really liked the bronzer and it's the new ones there's several of them and this one is the O2 um, Amber and it's nude tan dior skin nude tan and it comes with a really nice little um brush i haven't used it but i was ooh, noticing how nice it was of course everything comes in a case that you'll never use but this is really a nice brush it does not feel like most of those little teeny brushes that you get this makes it really worth it i think this was like 45 dollars and then this is the bronzer and it's beautiful and it's really nice and I've been using it all this week. So you can see it is a, it is not muddy at all. If you have um, problems with things turning muddy or getting a gray tone, kind of like Nars Laguna can do that on me. This is not like that. It has, you can see it has more of that rosy tan tone. Um, not to the point where it's like blush, but you know what I mean? A fresher, nicer, it's very easy to use. It's much lighter and easier to use than the Guerlain brunettes or the Dior um, the other bronzer thing that I use the I can't remember what the powder's called it's called mocha something this one is much easier to use and I really really, really two like more things it. I got at the Dior counter as much as I love that linen lip liner I wanted to try some other ones and I had one of you tell me that your all-time favorite was Heather Rose and so I went in and got that and it is just a good it's really pretty swatch it for you it's just a good rosy color and it's not flat it has not really a shimmer but it's got a good like pearly finish to it but the one I really like is this one and this one is called um, terracotta yeah I guess that stuff it says earth but it's terracotta and I have really enjoyed this one I have this on today actually with even with that little um, lip glow thing from Jane Iredale. It just gives a really nice, this one is much more like the linen and I just love it. It gives a good little lip line, very natural and I love it. Matter of fact, I used it. Kat's favorite lip combo with this is a lipstick that they have called Mitsuko or something like Mitsuku or something like that and they were out of it. And it is a cool lavender toned pink. And so what I did is yesterday I wore this with my rose amethyst and it was beautiful. I loved it. So if you have access to the Mitsoku or whatever, you could try that and this. And then a like a, she said like a clear pink, my trash man's coming by if you hear that, um, a clear pink gloss. And she said that's just a wonderful combination. But I really, really like this. So the linen and the terracotta, I really recommend the Heather or Rose Heather or Heather Rose is really pretty, but I think it's a lot like other things that you probably Another have. Another lip product, I got this actually when I got the Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker, is the new, the Balm, Color Riche Balm, SPF 15, and I got um, Nourishing Nude, and it's really pretty. Let's see if I can, it's real sheer and just a nude color. Um, it's not anything I would say rush right out and get. Um, I, like, I ended up liking the Dr. Pepper lip balm better, so but it is nice. I think that was all of the makeup that I got this week. I got a few pieces of jewelry and some clothes that I wanted to show you. And one of you had told me, it sent me a message. Somebody sent me a message, I think yesterday, that J. Crew had some good maxi dresses. And I haven't had a chance to go there yet, but another person had messaged me that The Gap had some good maxi dresses. So the other day I was going by there and I decided to stop in and of course, they were sold down to hardly anything with maxi dresses. She said in May they would be getting another shipment, but I ended up finding some other stuff and I probably would have not have even looked at this had there not been a girl in there trying this on and I just loved it. And it's just a plain sweater. There was like a blue one and 
another color, but what I liked was the white, and it's large, and it was $59.95. It wasn't on sale. It probably is by now, but it's just a nice, big, white sweater, and you can see how it's kind of um, holy, and when she had it on, it was going off the shoulder, and it was just long and kind of sloppy and, you and it, flowy you know, over, and over your elbows like this, and um, I just thought that would look so good with a pair of jeans and a nice pair of wedges and some of those like beachy like the beads or something just uh, there's all kinds of different directions you can go with this and so i picked that up and right by it they had this little denim mini skirt it's i got a 29 a 8 and it says destructed but what i liked was the front of it i liked that little crisscross there and it's a little bit longer than the ones I was wearing last year. The ones I had gotten from Old Navy were just a little bit short for me I thought when I wore heels. So I got this one and it was uh, 49 and I saw these and I thought they would look really good with that white sweater and the uh, Stuart Weitzman Alex look-alike sandals that I have in that swamp green color and um, these long shorts and they're kind of rolled up and that sweater, they're called Boyfriend Roll-Up. Sits below the waist, easy through the thighs, straight leg opening. And I got eight. And um, I just thought that would be a neat outfit, a good casual, nice outfit. And then I saw these shorts, and I'm not really a shorts person. I really got into them last year, and I probably will wear them more, you know, when it gets into summertime and I can get some real sun on my legs and get more in the summer spirit, <laughs> I guess you could say. But um, I just thought these were so pretty. They're slash pocket shorts, sits below the waist, um, 30, let's see, three and a half inch inseam, size eight. And I just loved the color. I just felt like it was screaming my name. So that's the stuff that I got then from Then I went the into app. Tory Bell this week. They got their shipment of CC Sky jewelry in. And I wanted to go look at it next last weekend. I didn't get a chance. So this week I stopped in there and I ended up getting a few pieces of that. And I always ask when I go in Oliver, anywhere, I always ask them, did you get any new t-shirts in? Because that's just my favorite thing. And they had gotten some new nation tees in. And that's just kind of like a new thing to me. I haven't had many nation tees. This one is actually one size fits all. And it's just a neat, you know, just a neat t-shirt. I actually, Tori tried it on for me because they know I hate to try things on, but it's got the neat sleeve, like a dolman sleeve. It's, you know, kind of the burnout, so you could wear a cami or like just one of those colored bralettes or bandeau underneath it, and I loved the neckline, it being kind of a cow neck, and I just thought it was really nice, and I like to wear with any of the shorts. You just can never Next have too many I white got is this one, and I just loved the color. I'm just a sucker for this army green. It is the Venice Tea. Let me tell okay, you the name. The name of, of this one. one is the Mississippi Tea, and it was 97. And so this one was the Venice Tea, and it was 88. It's called Blue Sage, but it's green, and it's still that same burnout. But I love the sleeves. I just love everything. These are just so good. And for another layering. thing I got this week is something exciting. It's something I've been working on with Kristen Wood, the designer that I have met, and we have just become buddies. And she is just so talented. She has been in the, she's been, she started out in the wine industry and, but she's always been into fashion and design and she ended up getting into uh, designing the silhouettes and she's got just many other things. She sews and she does the jewelry, she does all kinds of stuff and she has lots of good connections and good experience that I have really appreciated. So her and I, you know, t-shirts are my favorite thing and I wanted to this is going to be the first of many. We have a bunch of different ideas. And so what we're doing is I'm, you know, kind of coming up with the ideas of what I want them to be. And then she is helping me by just with her experience on, you know, well, no, this shouldn't go here. Or, you know, this makes it a lot more expensive or, you know, just different things. And what we did is I told her I wanted nice t-shirts. I don't want just the t-shirts that you would get at the pizza place or the school function or you know a real estate office or something like that I mean those are fine if you're just want to throw something on to go to the beach but I wanted a nice t-shirt made in the USA um, made of good fabric that fits good and that is feminine something like what I would buy if I were to go in Oliver or something like that and I want I've had several different designs I wanted to do 
And so this is the one that we came up with first. And so I'm gonna be selling these on my website. Um, the size I have on today is medium. I got some smalls, but mostly medium and larges because I felt like that's what, and we'll go from here and you know, I'll be able to tell next time what I want. But it's just a nice little ballet type t-shirt with D1 on the front. And you guys know I love the, you know, athletic type t-shirts. And I've always loved that t-shirt that the website Singer22, they have one. And that's kind of, you know, and then I have another t-shirt that I got from Forever 21 that I love that has the numbers on the front. So I just thought of this and I thought it would be something neat for all of us that nobody else would really, you know, they wouldn't know what it meant, but we would. And so it's got the D1 in my perfect peachy pink watermelon type color. And then the tag is actually my lip print. We did that and then my signature. And that will go in the back of all of my t-shirts. And I just thought that was so neat. I could not believe the detail they got. And I actually had on Rose Amethyst when I did that. I did, oh, I should have brought the paper out here. How many kisses I did on paper with that lipstick on. I had to put it on over and over. And we were gonna try to match the color, but we decided to, with each t-shirt, just change the color up to what this I This is the first one, it. and they will be, let's see, I think they're gonna be right around um, 26 on my website. Yeah, $26, I haven't added it, but I think by the time we figured everything up, it is not a cheap t-shirt, it's very soft, it should wash well, um, and even if you didn't wanna wear it, with jeans like I have on today, it would be a great t-shirt to sleep in or wear to the beach. It's the inspiration for this actual style came from a shirt. Let me see if I, I have it around here it is right now. But years ago, I think it was after I it was either after I had Brooke or Will and I had lost all my baby weight, we went into Old Navy and Old Navy had t-shirts like this. And I got almost every one they had because I loved this little cap sleeve and I loved the neckline and everything so that was kind of the inspiration for this and then it goes down just pretty straight at the bottom and it's just real you know it's kind of form-fitting but not tight so I'm really excited about that and so I'll have these on my website probably tonight and let's see I'm gonna go ahead and show you the jewelry that I got at um, Tori Bell and this is the CC Sky and this is one of the bracelets that I got and I love it. I wore it yesterday with my hot pink shoes and it's just a wrap around, you know, bracelet, kind of like the Lee Elena. And um, here's the logo, so you can see it on the inside. And I just love it. I think it is fabulous. And I cannot remember how much it was, but I know it was over a hundred, um, probably comparable to the Lee Elena bracelets. And um, I just love the um, gold buckle so that's how it goes and it looks really pretty i got a lot of compliments on it yesterday and then the other thing i got their style is edgy with like a touch of glam and that's something i didn't really have a lot of um the dean davidson is like that and so is the jenny bird has a touch of glam like the lion ring and the coin that's i like that because you know a lot of times i like to wear the ben moon stuff but then a lot of times i want something a little dressier and this will actually go real good with the lion ring but it is, um, oh goodness, it was 163. It's one of their, they have this in several colors and I just got the cream and it's like the horn pendant with the crystals on it. And I just thought this would look so pretty with most anything, a t-shirt or sweater. Um, it would look good with black, just anything. So a good basic so, piece. So is that it? So I would say with my t-shirts, is one exciting thing that I did this week. And another good thing that happened this week is I got my Rachel K CC cream in. And I'm so excited about that. Actually, it was shipped, I believe, you know, Saturday or Monday and got here yesterday. I could not believe it from Singapore or from Korea, Singapore. And so I've had it on my website and a lot of you have already ordered it. And I think everybody is going to be thrilled but what I'm going to do is I took all three colors this morning and put them on the back of my hand and I took pictures in the regular light and in the sunlight by my front door of just the dots and then I kind of smoothed them out and I took pictures again and I will put that at the end of this video and it was funny what I ended up doing was just taking that and putting it on today 
So that's what I have on is just a combination of all three. And that's really what I want to stress is all of these, I could wear all of them, all three of them, at, you know, at one time mixed up like I did today or each. They're not that much different. It's just kind of like a really light, a medium, and then the Sunkist just has more of the, um, just a darker tone. So what I'm going to do right now is swatch them again. And then this is something that I wanted to tell you. On my website, we listed, um, let's see, it was natural, neutral, and sun-kissed. Well, when they came in, they came in as fair. Fair is the same thing as natural. It is the lightest one, I believe. Here, let's see. I'm pretty sure it is. Fair. Yes, it is. So here's fair. You can see how light it is there. Here is neutral. You can see, oh, I wiped it all off. You'll see it in just a second. And then here, it's it's basically, I think, the tones, they're a little different. The um, lightest one is a little bit more pink-based. Okay, and then there's the sun-kissed. And um, this is just the best. I'm so excited. Okay, so here you go. So you can see that they're not all that different. So that would be the lightest one. Oops, I touched it. The lightest one is the fair. The next one is the neutral. And then the next one is sun-kissed. So I hope you can see that. You'll be able to see that they're not all that different. Now, if you want to be able to use it with, I'm sorry. If you want to be able to use it with nothing over it, then you might want to try the sun-kissed. But Either of the two light colors, what I like to do is put the Laura Mercier Minerals over it. It just makes the best primer you have ever tried. It is so it's the best BB cream or CC cream that I have ever tried for oily or combination skin. I don't have excessively oily skin. I don't, you know, have an issue. I never have. I just have a oilier T-zone. And this is, it's not dry, but when you put it on, it instantly fills in your pores and it just makes the perfect canvas to go over with powder. It's, the powder doesn't grab, the, you know, the BB cream doesn't move, it doesn't have a slicky feeling, um, but yet it's not dry. So here, watch me, um, you know, kind of spread these out. I'll try to do it with different fingers. So you can see they've got plenty of moisture, but look at that coverage. I mean, there is just no comparison with the coverage. And so you can see just the tones are different. If you're real fair, I would get the fairest one. If you are, most anybody could use the neutral. And then the sun-kissed, I think most anybody could use that too. It's just, you'll, you know, whatever you get, you can work with it and make it work. The main benefits are with the sunscreen. It has like the highest sunscreen. I used it every day and I use it every day now and I'm just so happy that now I can, you know, I can use it and be proud of it because I can bring it to you. And if it sells out, don't worry, I'll get more. I just, in the beginning, I just got a case of each color of the CC cream just to try and just to see how we liked it and how it went but I can get and will get more so don't panic if it does sell out I'll get more and I'll be able to get it within a week matter of fact if I see this getting down to you know 10 or 5 bottles I'll go ahead and order it but um I just really really like it it's I read when I was reading you know about it on their website they were saying how it had better whitening properties and it really does it has just really I feel like it's helped my skin just in the last two or three weeks that I've been using it again. So I just can't praise it enough. You guys know I love it. I was using it before, you know, we could get it. And so I'm hoping that you'll give it a try. And because I'm just, you know, a person getting it and selling it, I'm not going to be able to do refunds. So I did not double the cost. I'm not making a big bundle off of it. It is a little bit higher than it is on their site only because I had to pay, I think, 280 It was either 260 or 280 for shipping. So you can imagine how much three big cases of this cost to get here from Singapore. So I had to figure that into the bottles. So um, I just hope you'll give it a try, and um, I think you'll really like it. And 
if you need me, maybe I'll do a, a um, tutorial with it. Maybe I'll do this eye and a tutorial, this whole look next week because a lot of you have liked my more natural eye and um, I've been doing my eyeshadow a little bit different and my eyeliner a little bit different. So I'll show you that too and then I'll use one of these CC creams and show you how I make it work. And I will use, maybe I'll use one that wouldn't that probably wouldn't work good i was gonna say one on one side and one on the other but i'll use something different maybe i'll try to use um i usually use the lightest one so i can make any of them work and i think you can too and you can see once you spread them out it is not going to be this opaque that was way more than i needed one little dot does like the whole half of your face it you know it lasts forever i don't think i've run out of any of them since i've gotten them and special thanks to Chef Kathy because she is the one that originally sent this to me. And Kathy, I really appreciate it because it's my favorite. So I'm going to wash this so off I and I'll be right back. I'm just go ahead and do my outfit of the day, which is my new t-shirt. And this, you guys remember this blazer or little jacket that I got from the Limited. And then my jeans are the DL. Oh gosh, I brought the tag out here for you. I've got my box of t-shirts right here. They are the DL 1961 Premium Denim Four-Way Stretch Jeans, and they feel so good. It's got like that fit, finally the perfect fitting. And um, so let me take off my jacket and show you the fit of the t-shirt. Now I'm wearing the medium, so I think that would fit a lot of people. It's, you know, like I said, it's fitted, but it's not like it's, you know, spandex. And um, so if you wanted to get the large, like I could wear the, the large too. And even if it goes off the shoulder, then that's, you know, part of the look. But I just loved the varsity washed out letters. And I love the way it looks like underneath something else like this, because it just gives you that um, punch of color. And, you know, you don't really know what it says, but it gives you that look. And okay, so for shoes, shoes today, I have on the Alice and Olivia, the little fun wedges that I got. And I just thought they looked good with the, I don't know, I wanted to wear them with a the t-shirt and something sportier. And um, I really like them with the white jeans and just uh, my regular Balenciaga city bag, which I didn't think I was going to like the black in the summer, but it's worked out fine so far. So I really like that. Okay, so for accessories, I have on these earrings that Lou sent me. So for me. accessories today, I have on my Ben Amoon spike bracelet and the long necklace, which I love. It goes with anything. Um, the nail polish I have on is the Color Club Modern Pink that Gina sent me. My Michael Kors aluminum watch and my Dean Davidson plaza ring, which I love. I love his stuff. And... The, the fragrance I have on today, I put on Prada Candy. And I think that's it. My tan is kind of fading. I haven't put on tanner lately, but it's Clarins, the delicious, I believe is what it's So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.